Building owner is now facing a fine from the state after a student athlete was killed in a terrible elevator accident. The state investigation finds the elevator was operating without a current inspection certificate, but that's not the only factor that may have been at play here. Joe Hankey joins us now. Joe, this new state report reveals some significant information about how this tragedy happened. Well, Cheryl, I had mentioned two key, key items, potentially worn elevator equipment that may have failed, and the total weight of the passengers on board exceeded the max weight limit listed on the elevator. But so far, the state insurance commissioner's office says it has not found any criminal violations. 18-year-old Jamarcus McFarland moved to Atlanta in early August to attend Championship Prep Academy and play football. He was living in this building on Highland Avenue along with his teammates. A report released by the State Insurance Commissioner's Office today notes on August 31st, McFarland was one of 16 people on board the elevator as it traveled from the first to third floor. The doors opened, three people jumped off, the elevator fell, and McFarland became pinned with 12 others still on board. Investigators noted brake pad wear and possible oil contamination on the pads as possibly contributing to the collapse. And they found when the elevator began to fall, a piece of equipment called a rope gripper failed. It is designed to stop an elevator in instances of mechanical failure. It was also determined the 16 passengers weighed more than 3,600 pounds. The listed max capacity for the elevator was 3,000 pounds. The state issued this citation with a $5,000 fine to the elevator's owner, the maximum allowed under state law. Attorney Sean Williams, representing the McFarland family, wrote 11 Alive Wednesday, this was a foreseeable event that could have been prevented with proper inspection and maintenance of the elevator in question. He added industry standards adopted by the state require elevators to be able to operate at 125% of the listed maximum weight, or more than 3,700 pounds in this case, a total that was not exceeded based on the weight listed in the state's report. And we attempted to get a comment today on the state's report from the property manager where this accident happened. They confirmed they have received our message, but so far we have not received any comment. Attorney Sean Williams tells me he is continuing an independent investigation into the incident, which could potentially lead to a lawsuit.